This episode of Photonics Hot List is brought to you by Aerotech. Precision motion control and automation. Take control. Speed. Precision. Performance. Hello, I'm Justine Murphy with Laser Focus World. Let's take a look at some of the amazing things happening in photonics. A new device is lighting the way, literally, toward the future of all optical computing and could make access to it, as well as to high-resolution imaging and sensing, easier and more widespread. Nonlinear optical processing of ambient natural light is highly sought after for optical computational computing, imaging and sensing. A team from UCLA and the California Nanosystems Institute has been working to address the demand by designing an optoelectronic neuron array device that allows nonlinear transmission of spatially incoherent light. To create the 10,000 pixel optoelectronic neuron array, the researchers merged 2D transparent phototransistors with liquid crystal modulators. The optoelectronic neurons allowed spatially and temporally incoherent light in the visible wavelengths to nonlinearly modulate its own amplitude with just a 20% photon loss. The array also demonstrated strong nonlinear behavior under laser and white light illumination. This tiny array of transparent pixels essentially produced a fast, broadband nonlinear response from low power ambient light. The new device has proven effective for intelligent glare reduction in images, which the researchers say could enhance applications like autonomous driving, machine vision, and security cameras. A new nanoscale approach is taking researchers on a deeper dive than ever before into living bacteria and their lesser understood internal structures. A team at the University of Tokyo has created an enhanced mid-IR microscope to clearly see structures inside live bacteria at nanoscale. It can produce chemical images at 120 nanometer resolution. That's about 30 times clearer than has ever been possible with conventional mid-IR microscopy. The new setup is based on mid-IR photothermal quantitative phase imaging, which offers higher spatial resolution by joining mid-IR absorption with visible imaging. Synthetic aperture, a technique that combines numerous images taken from different illuminated angles to produce a clearer overall picture, was also integrated into the microscope. The team tested it on bacteria samples, including E. coli, situated on a silicon plate. This reflected visible light while also transmitting IR light using a single lens rather than the typical two. The mid-IR light ultimately enhanced the illumination of the samples for more detailed images. The researchers say their label-free microscopy approach is poised to offer deeper insight into things like infectious diseases and antimicrobial resistance. Detecting and measuring air pollutants, potentially opening the door to new air quality improvement strategies, is now possible with a novel spectroscopy-based technology. Researchers at the Graz University of Technology's Institute of Experimental Physics in Austria have developed the world's first broadband UV dual comb spectrometer. It's based on Fourier transform spectroscopy and involves two optical frequency combs with slightly detuned repetition rates superimposed onto a photodiode for interference. A laser source integrated into the spectrometer emits pulse pairs of simultaneously different wavelengths covering a broad range. When that light hits a gaseous material sample, its molecules absorb it. During that time, laser pulses excite those molecules, ultimately revealing the sample's optical properties and composition. The spectrometer also features two ytterbium fiber-based frequency combs, the outputs of which are amplified before being upconverted into the near-UV range via third harmonic generation. Two UV pulse trains are then superimposed and interact together with the gas sample. The team says the new spectrometer can detect even trace gases and pollutants to better study their effects in the atmosphere. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Be sure to like and share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, and visit laserfocusworld.com for the latest and coolest news and information. Until next time.